you have to start small and hustling and just get started, right? I, if that's the one message that I keep telling entrepreneurs. Sometimes entrepreneurs come to me and say, hey, I've been working on this business plan for a year. And I'm like, seriously, we lost a year. Kareem, we started on the first day of Ramadan, 2012. Very blessed day, uh, 22nd of July. Um, everyone kept saying Ramadan Kareem, so we got we got the <laughs> And um, from the first day till the time we did our first try was five and a half weeks. From idea till first, till first revenue. Now that revenue was not a very pretty revenue. We had a little dinky website you could go to. You could put in a pickup location and a drop application. And at uh, the time, it was pre-scheduled. You could not book on demand. You could put in your credit card number and you could click book. And then we got an email. It looked very pretty on the website. But on the back end, me and Russell got an email. That, hey, this is new booking. And that email went to a phone. And that phone had a very loud ring, ring signal so that we would notice that a new booking came in. Because sometimes people book in the middle of the night. So we took turns sleeping with this phone. A, 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 A at 3 a.m. New booking at 5 a.m. No technology. Oh, booking from uh, JVT. You may have been strangled. Also known as the Bermuda Triangle. You go in there, you never come out. Booking is from Street 5, Villa 11. There is 20 Street 5 in JVT. So, you know, we have a list of captains, we have met at the airport, and then we interviewed sitting, you know, outside the airport. We call them. How is my, are you free? Busy or free? Busy, busy, free, busy, busy. How is my, busy or free? Busy, who? This will be free, 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 yellow. We have a booking. Uh, street uh, 5, uh, Villa 24. Okay, how do we go? I see a roundabout. Uh, which roundabout? We were guiding the captains without no technology, just looking at the map and trying to get the right. We sent an SMS manually to the customer. Your dream is on the way. Here's the captain. It looks very professional for the, for the customer. In the back end, it was us sitting and sending this SMS. At the end of the trip, the captain called us and said, I drove 143 kilometers because I looked at the, the meter. So you can charge the customer for 43 kilometers. They reported it by phone. The second iteration of the product was that they reported it by SMS. Manually, they sent in, you know, how many kilometers. This was, a, the kitchen was a kitchen. And it was like, we spent, it was in the kitchen. Also. <laughs> Every single booking, we spent 25 minutes of manual time on, 25 minutes. And we were like, how on earth is this ever going to scale? 25 minutes. I think the message for you know, my reflection is, you just have to start. You have no clue what the customers want, and you just need to, you know, roll so, up. So, so you really didn't think of the challenges as you started, because you wanted to start. And, and, then, and then you discovered the challenges as you were going. Like Green Hoffman says, you build an entrepreneur builds a business while jumping from the plane and building the airplane while uh, before he lands, right? Before he crashes. For sure. And I think you know, some of the right? examples, some of the examples you mentioned on, on, on payments. I mean, when we started, I remember I think CyberSource wanted is it thirty thousand dirhams deposit to get the payment data. Yes. We don't have any thirty thousand dirhams. Now we had some bust up with the banks. We got one of these post machines. Uh, for free or we borrowed it there. And we could key in the credit card numbers on, on the trip. So after at the end of every day, we printed a list of all the trips that had happened. And we sat and we did 16 digit credit card number, four digit expire date, and then <laughs> every single trip. We did this for a year and a half. First I was doing this. I was basically running the payment. But after a year, I think I was getting tired of it. So our colleague number one, Akash, he took over. He ran operations and credit card machine. And then he got tired of it. And at that time, I had a personal captain, a personal driver driving me up and down. I was loving it. And new bike. And you know, he drove me in the morning. And then he sat the whole day until the night, and then he drove me home. It was a waste of time. He said, new bike, now you are our new payment gateway. <laughs> you can run me payments. And he sat and keyed in every single time. I mean, this is how it works. But I, I tell people, you need to be crazy about the customer, right? That's the only thing you have. You need to get people to love you. So 
we have this group, we never miss the booking. You have three scheduled bookings, so we had two hours to find a car. Sometimes there was no cars available. We called the hotels, we took a car, we called the golf clubs, we stopped cars on the road. We did whatever we had to do to never miss the booking. One time we had a booking from Abu Dhabi. It was a very senior management consultant going from the hotel to the airport. Important booking because you're going to the airport. We didn't have a single car in Abu Dhabi. We called everyone, we called the hotels, we called the golf clubs, we called the taxis. No one had a car there. I called my wife, Sarah, where are you? I'm in the mall uh, with my two-year-old daughter and her mom, 17-year-old mom. And I put them in Starbucks. Go to the car, put the car seat in the back, take the Volvo, drive up to the Towers and pick up this guy and take him to the airport. 